Good evening everybody. This is John Scarborough. I'm out here with a couple of the sheep. We went ahead and pulled the ram off today off the sheep. We had a, got them all up and we got, did some work on them and uh, just checked their hooves, checked them for worms and stuff like that. Um, you know, just kind of went through and then we went ahead and pulled the ram and then we also pulled one of the ram lambs that we we're about to sell. Um, got a buyer for that one. <clears throat> and then we also pulled a ewe that never had a baby. Um, but went ahead and pulled that one off and put him, uh, put her in here as well. And we're just kind of going to put a couple of them in here and we'll probably pull them out in a couple of days. But just to kind of get him, uh, just so he's not all by himself right at first. Of course, we got him up here close to, up here close to where we live. So, but what I wanted to kind of show you all today I wanted to show you all this grass. A lot of people talk about how sheep, you know, you need cattle to create impact. So they, they talk about wanting to build soil and they're wanting to get some cattle to do that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, cattle are probably one of the best animals to build soil if you <clears throat> manage them correctly and move them around. But I kind of wanted to show you this because they did this in one day to this spot right here. Okay, this is ryegrass. Not everybody has ryegrass. Depends on what part of the country you're in. But we get a lot of ryegrass here where we're at. Uh, I grew up in East Texas, and we get, I think, more ryegrass here. It grows better here than it did uh, where we were there in East Texas. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that this right here is pretty good for building soil. And I wanted to show you just how much they trampled down in a day and got mashed down into the soil. And the beautiful thing to this is, is that a lot of this ryegrass is already kind of starting to get a get a head on it, you know, and it's it's getting to that woody part where it's not as good. It's just not the best ryegrass. Um, you're not going to put on a bunch of gains uh, on a cow like this, you know. But these sheep are still going to get some good out of this, a lot of good out of this. Now, if you turn cows in here, I'm not saying they won't have any, they won't get good out of it. But my point is, is that even when it gets to this woody stage, your sheep can still get a lot of good out of it. They can, they'll eat that seed head off of there. They'll regerminate a lot of this. But look at the carbon that they're laying down in the soil. Okay, they're not a thousand pound animal, so they're not pushing that carbon down into the soil. But they're laying it down, they're breaking it over, and they're going to allow that to go ahead and die. That grass is going to go ahead and die, and you're either going to get some new rye grass growing up, or you're going to start to promote some summer growth there. So I guess what I really wanted to show some people is to help encourage some of those people that have a smaller farm, or they don't have the money to get into cattle business. Because right now, the price of cattle is just through the roof. I am really happy that I'm not having to buy a bunch of cows. Now, I am going to buy, buy a couple this year, but only because I want to. I'm not buying them because I have to. So I feel sorry for anybody that has to buy any cows right now because, man, man, it's high. Um, but, you know, that's just the way things go. But I just kind of wanted to show you all that because sheep make a very good option. It's still a very valuable option. It's still something really good that you can put into this it, it, on your farm to build soil and, and really it's it's a better option when you're talking about bad pasture okay now I did just get off a farm a little farm tour me and my wife did it was a really enjoyable tour that we did we went and saw a guy had uh, let me think what are they called it's not the longhorn kettle it's something else I, I made a video on it and I already posted the video but Man, I sure, right now it's just, I'm drawing a blank. I cannot think of the cattle because um, I don't deal with them much. But the point is, those are some really good cattle. It's real similar to the to the longhorn cattle. And it's really good for building soil when you don't have great pasture, for building uh, pasture. Okay, so that's a good option too. Now, that's a smaller frame cow, and it also takes them longer to finish steers. We can finish steers out a little bit quicker with our cattle than they can with those or with the longhorns a lot of people have it takes them about three years to get their steers um, finished out we are, we're finishing ours in about two years with the cattle that we have so it's not quite the same but we've got good pastures we're finishing them out on so that's part of that you know 
but this would be an excellent option for someone to put out there you know and if if you don't feel comfortable with it you can start off with this netting the good thing about this chicken netting right here this is the actual chicken netting is that you can put chickens and sheep in here together you could easily put in a few, couple of chickens you could even raise some meat birds in here with them if you wanted to you know a person could easily get a little um just basically a couple sheets of tin as a covering and put it on a little trailer with some you know with your wheels and everything that way it's mobile and easy to move around just basically a mobile shelter real low to the ground so it doesn't get blown away easy and just make a little small shelter there and just have a handful of sheep and a couple of meat birds right there and they could raise a lot of really good food for their family while building some good soil so you put those sheep in there and they'll trample this big heavy grass down and give the chickens somewhere to actually get down in there I always thought that'd make a great little option. Um, me and Savannah's actually been thinking here lately about trying some of that. About trying, uh, not, maybe not the sheep in with them, but trying to raise a couple of meat birds in here in these net wire. You know, we'll do egg birds with this net wire, but we've never tried meat birds. We always like to use the Joe Salatin style tractors for that. But I'm thinking about giving it a shot because, you know, we've got a lot of hills and stuff on our place. And those Joe Salatin style tractors are great on flat land, but they're not all that great when you start getting hills and bumps and everything else. So, um, might give that a shot. But guys, really give that some thought. Some, some sheep are some excellent, uh, they're just excellent creatures. You know, they're really good for building soil and, and that's the main thing i think that a lot of people miss about sheep is they don't realize just how versatile they are you know they're not a cow but their hoof is also smaller so their weight you know it's not the thousand pounds that's pushing down on there but they've got a smaller hoof too so they're pushing more of that grass that carbon down in than you might think you know and if you don't think those things are heavy grab a full grown one and get you know grab a hold of it You'll know how heavy they are and how, how feisty they are too, you know. But you can see what they've done here. If I put if I put three cows in here, they've been in here. I think these sheep has been in here since this morning. And we've got to get them some shade here in just a minute. We got their water set up, but we need to get them a little bit of shade. They don't really need a whole lot of shelter, just a good tree or something. They've actually got more of an uh, kind of an oily this kind of an oily hide almost on there and that sheds a lot of their water off and so they don't you don't have to worry too much about shelter but some kind of shade is always good because it you know we're not really hot right now um but we're starting to get warm so I, i'm gonna have to get something in here um here in just a minute but we've had these sheep in here for probably i don't know two maybe four hours you know and if i had if I had three cows in here, which is a lot more impact, well, if I had one cow, one cow is more fair. That's three sheep. One cow would be a, close to the same weight. A little, it'd still be more weight, you know. But I don't think that that one cow would have pushed down this much. He'd have walked through, grazed some, but he would have been grazing and then maybe laid down a few, you know. But they they are really pressing down and breaking that. Because that's what builds your soil with your grass, is to actually break that the mature grass down. That's what you're trying to do when you're building that, is you're breaking all of your mature grass to the ground. Okay, a lot of times your cattle they'll walk on through it, you know. But what you need is your mature grass to get broken down. They're actually breaking that down, you know, and they'll eat whatever they don't break down. Whereas a cow, in order to make them in order to make them do a good job, you've actually got to get them tight. They can't be this, they can't have this much space. So that's another nice thing about sheep is you can give them a bigger area and move them a little bit less often. You don't necessarily have to move them every single day to achieve the same benefit, you know. And I'm not talking against cows. Y'all know I love cows, you know. I'm just trying to give some other people some really good options for these sheep. Um, that's probably a good good place to to open with the fact that I am going to be selling some sheep, some lambs here in a little bit. But that's not really what I'm trying to do is be a salesman. 
<laughs> but we probably will actually sell some. And the reason I say that is because we've had several people ask us, are we selling any? And we haven't been able to. We've been building our flock and building it and building it and building it. Um, but we're finally to the place I do think we are going to sell some this year. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to throw that video out here, guys, and let y'all spend a little, little time with me.